and today I thought we could talk about uh, my top five favorite IELTS textbooks. Uh, some of these textbooks are better for when you study by yourself. Uh, some of these textbooks are better to use in the class. I'll try and explain a little bit and I'll put all the names of the textbooks in the description. So, uh, number five, we've got uh, Improve Your IELTS Writing Skills. Uh, this is a textbook that I love and hate. Um, of course, this textbook is mainly focused on writing skills. No, it's 100% focused on writing skills. Uh, and I usually recommend that students try and use this textbook uh, at home by themselves, and then we give the students feedback on the essays that they write. Uh, this textbook is probably the best textbooks for writing as far as I'm concerned. Um, but it can be a little bit dull. So the next one, uh, IELTS Introduction. This is quite a new textbook, uh, 2012. We've been using it at SIUK since last year. Uh, this textbook says that it is aimed at those in IELTS band 3 to 4, but I don't think that's completely true. Uh, I think it's a little bit more difficult than that. Uh, the textbook begins very easy, uh, the listening activities are quite easy throughout the textbook. Some of the grammar in this textbook is quite difficult. So that's number four. Uh, number three is IELTS Foundation, uh, also in the same series uh, as IELTS Introduction, although uh, Foundation has been around. Uh, in lots of different editions for quite a long time. Um, again, it says that it is aimed at students with a band score of 4 or 5.5. Maybe that's accurate. Uh, I think this textbook uh, is actually very useful for helping students improve their IELTS score. Uh, there's a lot of strategy, a lot of vocabulary, uh, and again, some of the grammar is quite difficult in this textbook. Um, uh, and that is number three. Uh, number two, speaking for IELTS. Recently here in uh, SOUK Tokyo, I've been teaching a speaking seminar and I've just really been using this textbook. Um, of course, I don't know if you can see there, but there are also uh, listening for IELTS, reading for IELTS, writing for IELTS. Uh, I've used listening for IELTS and that is also a really good textbook. But I think as far as speaking is concerned, uh, this is one of the best speaking textbooks that I've used overall. Uh, and I think that um, especially some of the pronunciation sections in this textbook are really useful for anybody who's looking to improve their score in speaking to about 6.5 and then go past that. So if you're really interested in improving your speaking score, I recommend this textbook for you. And that brings us to number one, uh, Cambridge English Objective IELTS. Uh, Cambridge obviously runs the IELTS test, so you might think that a Cambridge textbook would be uh, best for um, studying IELTS. And I think as far as this textbook is concerned, you would be correct in saying that. Uh, one of the most important sections of this bit is the... Uh, content of the IELTS test, you'd be surprised at how many students we have who uh, are taking the IELTS test but they're not completely sure uh, what type of questions to expect. Well, there you go, please read that. Um, if I do have a criticism of this textbook, I would say that it is quite a short textbook um, and perhaps writing is not covered as much as with some of the other textbooks, but it's a very logical organization in this textbook, and um, uh, I, I actually think when you come out at the end of this textbook, you have a much better understanding of what you need to do to get a good score. So that's my number one, and this is the one that I recommend probably to about 70% of students that come in that can actually speak English. Um, so there we go. Uh, of course, 
studying by yourself is one option. Uh, if you are in the Tokyo area and you're uh, trying to improve your IELTS score, please contact us and uh, we can arrange a lesson that meets your requirements. Okay, thanks very much.